Hey guys, hurry up. Let's get our bug out bag. Okay, this is our go bag here. There we go. Get in the duffel bag. Oh, hey there. How you doing? Welcome back to Firefighter Capretta's Fire Safety Tips. Today we're going to go over the go bag, which the fire department calls it, or bug out bag. It's a bag you're going to use when you have to escape your house, leave your house in a hurry. It's uh, in case of fires, uh, earthquakes, emergencies. Now, it's uh, not for the zombie apocalypse, okay? Don't think about that. That's probably not going to happen. God forbid. Knock on wood. Okay, but today we're going to go over some essential items that you're going to need, okay, to put in your bag. So, right here, I have five days worth of clothes. So, pants, t-shirts, sweatshirt, a jacket, underpants, don't judge me here, uh, shorts in case you have to you know, shower in a public place. Uh, you don't want to be embarrassed being naked. Uh, also, socks, plenty of socks, okay? Maybe more than five days of socks. You need a bathroom bag. It's important to, in a Ziploc bag, just put in deodorant, uh, soap, you know, a razor, uh, and then also a toothbrush, and obviously a toothpaste, you don't want to have stinky breath. Uh, another big item is a sleeping bag. You can buy this online. It's an awesome sleeping bag. It fits in very small places. I have three of them because I have a family of three right now, almost a family of four. Uh, they're light. They're useful. They're going to keep you nice and insulated and warm on those cold nights. Very important to have. Okay. Now, other people out there that have medications, you need a medication list right here. So this right here is medication list. Very, very essential. If you can't bring your medications, bring your medication list, okay? So like, I can't bring my, my hair loss. I can't bring, you know, my happy pills. If I can't do that, bring your medication list and that'll do, okay? I can't bring, I talk too much because I do talk too much. But you're gonna have to bring your cell phone, okay, for communication. It's important to have a cell phone with you. Bring your ID, so maybe a wallet. You know, minimal, just have a credit card. You don't necessarily just have to have cash. Bring a utility knife. Utility knives are good. They help. You know, you could, uh, if you need to get through stuff, this will this will help you out, okay? You could buy this also on Amazon. Utility knife. This is a Gerber. Scissors. Also essential. You're going to probably need some type of scissors. These ones here are awesome. They're Leatherman. They fold up. They work great. And fit in small places. Now, with your cell phone, you'll probably need your charger. You're going to need some adapters so everybody can, you know, utilize uh, the, the phones if they need to, if they work, right? You need a flashlight. Every, every go bag needs a flashlight. This is a Nebo. It's small. You could get the big guy. I think this guy's called, uh, God, Big Daddy? You don't need that. Get the small guy. The small guy will work fine. The big Daddy's kind of heavy, okay? Now, batteries. You know, it's good to have extra batteries. Now, whatever you're taking with you, utilize the batteries that are necessary for those items. Now, it might be just double A. I'm bringing double A. Just enough that, that could get by for a while. Now, the chargers. If you have no way to charge your phone and devices, uh, I do recommend you buy a solar charger. It actually works really good. Basically, the solar charger here, I also bought on Amazon. You can find them. There's a ton of them out there. Do a little bit of research. This is a 25 thousand milliamp charger uh, five volt it actually works really good charges up phones and you could store it for a long period of time uh, it took me a while to figure out how to close it so it's also very useful and light now also essential you need shoes bring a pair of shoes because you're not going to go very far if you have no shoes so aside from the essentials let's go over the non-essentials that could also be helpful so you're in the wilderness, you're in the outback, you're somewhere far away, you're going to need some type of uh, fire device to start. Matches, a lighter. Uh, this is basically a starter kit that's really helpful. It's by Gerber. I got it also on Amazon. I recommend getting one of those. It's really good. You don't have to worry about it if you store it in some, some place. There's no fuel, so it's not going to cause a fire. Okay. And then here's walkie-talkies, Motorola. Great, right? Small. I think they have a 16-mile uh, you know, distance range. It's pretty incredible. You know, get a pair, okay? Then, last but not least, you know, I think you should probably invest in, this is if you don't have no water supply, so there's no water supply, which typically, when you leave your house in an emergency, there's going to be some type of water supply. This is uh, if you're roughing it, okay? So, don't go and do this if you're in a place 
where you could go get a hotel room or you're going to borrow, you know, water from somebody because this is this is the most extreme. It's a life straw. You can put it a life straw. You can put it in a stream. You can put it in the toilet and you suck up the water. I don't know if I want to do that. And it'll purify it as you suck it up. So it's uh, it's a good item. I would just carry one in my go bag. So that's it for my go bag. And uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all together. Should be light, fast, and always in a good place. So when you have to go, you go. Thanks for joining me. Let me show you the go bag when I'm all finished. Hey, here you have it. The essential bug out bag. Everything's right here, ready to go. In the midst of some crazy incident, I have my shoes, I have my clothes, I have everything that I essentially need in a small bag. I have the medication list right here, but everything fits in, including the little sleeping bags, these little tiny guys. So everything is nice and neat. This thing weighs probably, I mean, it's probably about 10 pounds, maybe less than 10 pounds. And uh, this is what you're going to need in case of an emergency, fire, earthquake, or just natural disaster uh, to get out of your house and the essentials. So thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for the next video. Uh, this is Firefighter Caffretta, and I'm signing off. Have a nice night.